वेलकम टू वी लर्न दिस इज सेशन फोर्टीन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट ऑफ मार्केट कम्युनिकेशन एंड एडवर्टाइजिंग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक प्लानिंग कम्युनिकेशन एंड स्ट्रैटेजी देयर इंटर रिलेशनशिप रोल ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इन वैल्यू चैन क्रिएशन एंड डिलीवरी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वी विल ऑल्सो कवर सम टॉपिक्स दैट विल रिलेट्स टू द रोल ऑफ सेवन एस मॉडल पोर्टल स्ट्रैटेजिक ऑल्टरनेटिवस देन वी विल कवर द प्राइमरी इन्फ्लुंसिस ऑन कंज्यूमर्स आउट साइड इन्फ्लुंसर्स विल बी द पार्ट ऑफ टूडे सेशन देन द वैल्यू क्रिएशन देन रोल ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इन फोकस्ड कंसर्न प्राइमरी इन्फ्लुंसिस ऑन कस्टमर इंटरनल कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम दे ऑल विल द पार्ट विल बी द पार्ट ऑफ टूडे सेशन At last, before we end, there will be a seven S model, and do it yourself exercise. So let us cover the first topic of today's session about the planning, communication, and strategy. Planning, planning plays a very important role in the whole scenario. While making the strategy, planning plays a very important role. planning alone cannot play the whole work rather it ultimately depends upon the communication so communication and strategy building have moved so close to each other that it may now be difficult to understand one without the appreciating the others means we can say that communication and strategy are basically the two sides of the same coin one is incomplete without an another communication that is bereft of strategic orientation will be reduced to noise or clutter communication agar properly nahi kiya jata to this communication can leads to the noise or cluttering of the voice a study of communication in the context of a firm's requirement is therefore linked to a study of strategy communication implement karne ke liye you need to follow certain kind of strategy or planning so basically planning communication and strategy planning communication and strategy they helps in building as an integrated process in determining a firm's competitive response ek organizations ke competitive response ko achieve karne ke liye we need to highly focus on to the extensive planning communication also plays a very important role and strategy building so planning the process and communication have a parallel flow in terms of inflow processing and value added outflow inflow of information leads to how the inputs of the information is flowing from one part of the organization to the another part in the second step processing leads to the materialization of the inputs in different form to a desirable output then in the third step of value added outflow we focus on to the parameters that how the things or the value should be added into the output produced so that that information or valuable information become worthful for the sake of organization as well as for the customers here is a chart which will provide you an intuition or a kind of interrelationship of different parameters while building the strategy so before formulating any kind of strategy planning extensive planning needs to be done competitive and framework must be set previously there should be proper communication between different components of the same organization then marketing marketing also plays a very important role in boosting the product or as well as the performance of a particular service strategy also encounters also inco- incorporate ro- lots of risk factors which are exactly the barriers in formulating a kind of strategy so before formulating any sort of strategy at the organization level a research or market research data is collected from different domains 
so that the ultimate product should reach to the target audience in a specified time period as well as under planned manner so planning communication and strategy they plays a very important role in formulating the strategy of the of the organization keeping in view of marketing communication competitive environment planning risk and last but not the least that is the market research marketing communication marketing has enabled homo sapiens to progress both by transmitting knowledge and being a channel for addition to this knowledge means marketing communication is a kind of tool in the hands of the human being to check their knowledge to transmit their knowledge to add or to increase their knowledge so the purpose of com- marketing communication is revisited basically that is the purpose of marketing communication can be no different from the purpose of marketing is that to maximize the customer delivered value means whatever you are delivering to the customer it should add value for the customer by maximizing the ratio profitability in the hands of customer so market or market communication plays the role in maximizing the customer delivered value this can be increased by increasing the total customer value or lowering the customer cost तो टोटल कस्टमर की वैल्यू को आप इंक्रीज करके उसकी काउंट को मेंटेन करके उसके वॉल्यूम ऑफ सेटिस्फेक्शन को इंक्रीज करके वी कैन इंक्रीज द टोटल कस्टमर वैल्यू एंड वी कैन गेट द बेटर कस्टमर आउटपुट इन टर्म्स ऑफ लोअर कस्टमर कॉस्ट वैल्यू एडिशन फॉर कस्टमर्स एंड सोसाइटी दैट इज कम्युनिकेशन अगेन इज नॉट जस्ट विद प्रेजेंट एंड प्रॉस्पेक्ट कस्टमर बट also with employees vendors related industries and other advanced factors like human resources including skilled and scientific resources and external environment they all are the like responsible factors which helps to increase the value for the customer and society so by taking care of the customers along with the employees vendors industries human resources skilled human resources and scientific resources they contribute to increase the worth of that particular product or service to the customer as well as to the society strategy means to build it with integrated communication strategy is a kind of definition about the organization's intentions and that strategy must be communicated at different level of the organization so that the implementation can be imposed in a more smooth manner so corporate strategy basically depends on understanding the business and marketing environments only after a correct understanding has resulted can be marketing or marketing communication planning be determined jab tak ek proper understanding बिल्डअप नहीं होगी यू कान डेवलप एनी शॉर्ट ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजी आप किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की स्ट्रैटेजी को नहीं बिल्डअप कर पाएंगे जब तक आपको उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की डिफरेंट बिजनेस वर्टिकल्स के बारे में मार्केटिंग एनवायरनमेंट के बारे में एक प्रॉपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ग्रास्प नहीं होगी टिल दैट द स्ट्रैटेजी ऑफ दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन नॉट बी बिल्डअप सो वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड द होल स्ट्रैटेजी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देन मार्केटिंग कम्युनिकेशन कैन बी डिटरमाइंड अंटिल no strategy is there marketing cannot be imposed so three generic strategies and their strategic fits are that strategy while formulating the strategy of any organization three parameters should be taken into consideration the first one is overall cost leadership means by providing the lower cost product to the customer the whole monopoly in the market can be achieved that sort of leadership is called as a overall cost leadership sometimes if it is not possible at the organization level to reduce the cost to provide the maximum benefit to the customers in that situation what we can do we can apply a sort of differentiation onto the product or service 
by providing something unique and something extra to the customers that thing will differentiate our product with that of the competitors product so this sort of strategies can also be applied to get a leadership to gain a monopoly over the other products next is focus always focus on to the product or service that you are going to provide because that focus will help you to improve the quality of that particular product or service so planning communication and strategy they also plays a very important role in bringing about the cost leadership differentiation and focus this will help you them to enhance their strategy communication next is interrelationship planning and strategy depends on communication yes it is true that planning and strategy is ultimately depends on communication all three task of planning communication and strategy formulations are basically interdependent ek dusre ke upar interdependent karte hain communication is the key tool to use the role of communication within the form nurtures and fosters the process of bottom up planning bottom up level pe jin jin employees ne kaam karna hota hai us wahan par एक बेटर कम्युनिकेशन की जरूरत होती है एंड दैट टारगेट इज अचीव्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन टूल सो एट द बॉटम ऑफ प्लानिंग बॉटम ऑफ लेवल कम्युनिकेशन प्लेज द रोल ऑफ की रूट टूल इन मेंटेनिंग द स्ट्रैटेजी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज वेल एज टू फॉर्मुलेट द प्लानिंग कम्युनिकेशन टूल शुड जर्मिनेट फ्रॉम प्लानिंग एंड स्ट्रैटेजी वेयर द कम्युनिकेशन शुड कम आउट दैट इज from planning and strategy because planning and strategies are those three which ultimately give rise to the roots of communication so communication that generates or germinates from needs of planning and subsequently development of strategy enables the creation and delivery of additional values lower cost or both so communication is basically derived from the planning as well as strategy now let us learn the role of communication in value creation and delivery basically communication has a critical role to play in the new competitive scenario because today competition is a cut throat kind of competition where global low players have easy access to local market and can deliver better value to, to the customer if the local firm has not kept itself abreast of development in technologies अगर लोकल फॉर्म वालों ने अपने आप अप, अपने आप को कस्टमर की नीड्स के अकॉर्डिंग अपडेट्स नहीं किया है तो एक बेटर प्रोडक्ट कम कीमत में कस्टमर के हाथों में ग्लोबल प्लेयर्स कस्टमर तक पहुंचा देंगे एंड एज अ रिजल्ट व्हाट विल हैपन द लोकल मार्केट्स पी विल नॉट बी एबल टू गेट द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ दैट ऑफ दैट पैरामीटर्स सो by knowing by having awareness about the technologies process marketing and changing nature of the consumer demand this can be communicated with the proper communication channels so that when a customer will get such kind of communication from the local providers then that will help them to retain the customer so primary influences on the consumer is the basis of communication strategy there are certain parameters which directly affects to the consumer and they help in building or formulating the communication strategy so this study of communication strategy begins by taking a dynamic view of the customer we have to always focus on to the customer first and on the changing demands of the customer so a dynamic schedule must be there to help them so that a cope up the different strategies can be cope up with the running environment when we talk about the role of communication in value creation and delivery then the customer and his wants are not taken into the static mode which responds and gives the clues marketing is is therefore is not an exercise of using predetermined clues to ensure customer response marketing mein hum predetermined clues ki help se kaam nahi karte we have to apply a sort of statistical analysis a sort of calculations on to the existing data so the relevance of national diamond and 
सेवन इज मॉडर्न इन कम्युनिकेशन थ्योरी हेल्प्स टू गेट दिस व्यू सो द फोर डिटर्मिनेंट्स आर फैक्टर कंडीशंस डिमांड कंडीशंस रिलेटेड एंड सपोर्टिंग इंडस्ट्रीज फॉर्म स्ट्रक्चर एंड नेचर ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन विद इन एन इंडस्ट्री सो दीज वैल्यूज आर शेयर्ड अमंग डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजी स्ट्रक्चर सिस्टम स्टाइल ऑफ वर्किंग स्टाफ अबाउट द मैन पावर स्टाफ इन द सेंस एंड स्किल सेट ऑफ द ह्यूमन बींग हु सो एवर इज डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली इन्वॉल्व इन द वर्क सो स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रैटेजी स्किल स्टाफ स्टाइल एंड सिस्टम दे ऑल शेयर्ड सम वैल्यूज इन फॉर्मुलेटिंग द स्ट्रैटेजी एज वेल एज द सिस्टम ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द न्यू मॉडल ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन स्ट्रैटेजी इज कॉल्ड एज अ थियोरी बॉय इन द सिक्सटीज थियोरी बॉय कॉल्ड ऑन कंपनीज टू ट्रीट देयर एम्प्लॉयज नॉट एज कॉक्स इन अ मशीन बट एज अ द इंडिविजुअल हुज क्रिएटिविटी कैन बी रिलीज थ्रू इन एनलाइटिंग थ्रू एनलाइटन मार्केटिंग प्रैक्टिस इस थ्योरी वाई के अकॉर्डिंग कंपनीज के एम्प्लॉयज़ को मशीन की तरह नहीं राधा एक इंडिविजुअल की तरह ट्रीट करने के लिए कंसेप्ट दिया गया था और इसमें बोला गया था कि ह्यूमन बींग को एनलाइटमेंट मार्केटिंग प्रैक्टिस के थ्रू हम उसमें उसको मोटिवेट कर सकते हैं सो दैट मैक्सिमम आउटपुट कैन बी जनरेटेड दीज थ्री सीज रिप्रजेंट द प्रोसेस ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजी एंड कम्युनिकेशन वाट आर दीज थ्री सी दैट इज कॉपरेशन फोकस कंसर्न एंड कॉम्पिटिटिव रिस्पॉन्स कॉपरेशन मीन्स द एरिया विद इन द थर्ड कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्कल इट मीन्स विद इन द ऑर्गनाइजेशन पीपल शुड कॉपरेट अमंग ईच अदर दे शुड प्रोवाइड प्रॉपर सपोर्ट टू दैम नेक्स्ट इज फोकस कंसर्न कंसर्न द सेकेंड सी एंड द एरिया विद इन द फोर्थ कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्कल कॉम्पिटिटिव रिस्पॉन्स the third c and the area within the form fifth concentric circle so the role of communication in value creation is a kind of cooperation focus concern and competitive response there is a strategy that is given by the porter by providing different alternatives that while formulating the strategy of an organization three parameters should be considered the first one is focus on to the cost means provide the maximum advantage in terms of cost to the customer second is make your product or service to be a differentiated differentiated one in terms of unique product by providing differentiation and the next one is focus that is highly focus on to the different parameters and ingredients of the product or services that you are going to offer there are different categories of the influences on the customer and the primary are primary are self factors and secondary are outsider or outside influences in the category of primary there is a like individual and creativity that was given by the mass close need hierarchy seeking better value in term by providing the inner drive that inner drive when it is communicated at the outside world and the parameter of outside world are society socialization process technology technology and the developed practices information growth of knowledge so different parameters affect at different point of time and that which are outside of the customer category they comes under the category of outside influencers and those which comes under their inner octet that is called as a inner drives or inner primary influencers outside influencers are like sometime creativity get influence the entire scenario customers the ultimate factors which is responsible for bringing about the changes in the product or services value seeking 
emerging wands current wands sometimes we have to reshape the wands all these factors are actually acting as influencers at the outside level there is a octet which represent the relationship between the customer home nation firm and society interaction during the process of value creation so there is a customer at the inner level and at the higher level there is a society which helps to achieve a competitive data sheet and affect the whole national diamonds parameter of the organization role of discrimination in focused concern that is inflow enters into the area of processing and outflow comes out from the focused concern so inflow of information and feedback goes into the area of cooperation and outflow for development of firms competitive response comes out in from the area of competitive re response so primary influences on customer involves inner influencer they can work on customers resulting in needs and wants in a manner revealed by primary influencers create offerings to satisfy the needs emerging from that from primary influencers and outsiders they basically influence the technology and knowledge so all these are a kind of influences that we use in the customer internal communication system for competitive analysis and tracking the four diagnostic components of competitive analysis fall in two categories the first one is what drives the competitor includes his future goals at all level of management and in multiple dimensions and assumptions that is held about itself and the industry what the competitors what the competitors can do it includes current strategy and how is he currently competing and capabilities that is the both the strengths and weaknesses so useful competitive tracking tools involves what small companies in the industry and related industries follow patent applications track job changes and other activities of the industries beware of licensing agreements for they give the information about where how and when companies can sell a product monitor the formation of business contracts and alliances find out about new business practices that are saving the competitors money allow changes in the pricing follow chances in social environment and cost customer taste that could alter the business environment there are four determinants that are actually responsible for the conditions the first one is factor conditions demand conditions related and supporting industries firm structure and nature of competition within an industry there is a 7s model which includes the sharing of information or sharing of values among the system style of working staff skills strategy and structure next is a kind of interrelationship between the firm strategic style of working industries and other parameters so before we end there is a do it yourself exercise for you do you see that agencies can help the firm if yes then how you have to answer it you have to specify the 10 points for the same next is you have to discuss the various c and their role in the planning and communication strategy you have to give 10 points also for the same so in both the question you have to write the 10 10 points with this we are going to finish this session thank you